This video is part four or five in our series overviewing data structures. In this video, we look at trees and binary trees. A tree is a fundamental data structure used in many areas of computer science. It consists of nodes and pointers. Each tree has a root node. Unlike an actual tree, when we visualize a tree data structure, the root is at the top. The root connects to zero, one or more child nodes. Nodes at the very bottom of the tree are called leaf nodes. Nodes are connected with pointers and edges. A set of nodes and edges from any single node down through all of its descendants is known as a subtree. Typical uses for rooted trees like this include storing and managing file and folder structures. Implementations of the A-star pathfinding algorithm. Storing and manipulating any form of hierarchical data that requires a parent node to have zero, one or more child nodes. For example, a family tree. Or a corporate structure. Now, binary tree is similar to a standard tree data structure, consisting again of nodes and pointers. It's a special case of a graph where each node can only have zero, one or two pointers, with each pointer connecting to a different node. Since a binary tree is essentially a graph, nodes and pointers can also be described as vertices and edges. Binary trees can be represented in memory with dictionaries, as shown here in Python. Binary trees could be stored in static arrays. Notice how the left or right pointer in the various rows of this table are set to null if there's no child node. It's more common to see binary trees represented as objects nodes with a left and right pointer. Again, the left and or right pointer is set to null if there's no child node. Binary trees have many uses in computer science. Database applications where efficient searching and sorting is required without moving items, which is slow. Wireless networking and router tables. Operating system scheduling processes. Huffman coding used for compression algorithms like JPEG and MP3. And cryptography, for example, GMM trees. There's a number of operations you need to be familiar with from a binary tree, including adding, deleting, traversing and searching trees. And we look at these in more detail in our later video on trees. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How do trees and binary trees work? 